Ehe. Mheshimiwa Kioni. Ah. Uh, let me tell you. Um, wa Kenya kusoma kweli wananja. Mimi nikiwa Nyeri kusoma kweli niko kwa mlima lakini the other side ya mlima Kenya. I was looking as we came through kaona maji chemichemi and uh, huyu mama ambaye tunamsindikiza shujaa wetu alikuwa akitaka ku bless watu yake anasema muture tadhagana hiyo dhagana upande ule mwingine ni Tana River inapitia hata kwangu nyumbani Saikuru maji haya akikauka watu wataumia kwa hiyo mambo ya mazingara ni kitu ya maana mimi nilifanya kazi na mzee Kibaki vilivyo kumbukeni wakati wa Africa's first grand coalition government because when Zimbabwe alifuata kisha baadaye Kenya ilionyesha umaarufu wa utengemano wa kweli the first time Kenyans felt they belong hapa nimewasikiliza viongozi in fact it's amazing to have listened to all of you and some of you if you allow me to give you a little advice because of experience i if you don't understand anything understand this as we speak our country is divided in the middle mshumwa governor bandirisha we are not in uh, bombers at it to be managed you can't manage kalonzo we are not here to be managed at ye waongee tu ndio sasa mkamue maziwa whatever it is I want you to know this is very serious business. Mheshimiwa Gachagua you are reputed to speak the truth. I congratulate you. Lakini wakati mwingine ulienda ukambani akawaambia watu wenu huko ni watu wenu mambo yako. Na ukasema mmegawa nchi Mheshimiwa Ruto atakuwa eh, upande wa Luo Nyanza na wewe utakuwa ukambani unakaribishwa sana huko ni nyumbani na mimi ni ruhusu niingie nyeri kazao ni nyumbani tuongee kikamilifu mambo haya oh now to unite this nation we have only this one nation it pains me kumbuka mheshimiwa i think it is our sister from naivasha Eh, I think there's another one who's saying I think it's a count women rep wa Moranga. Huyu ananielewa vizuri. Anasema Kibaki did me a favor. <laughs> Let me tell you. If there's one thing which is true, serikali ya Kibaki ilikuwa imeenda. Na I was not given in a silver platter at Kibaki has done me a favor. We discussed na tukawa when I became the 10th vice president of our country it was because we had to bring this nation together wakikuu walikuwa na uwawa mainly in the rift valley mimi nikapigilia kisu chini ilikuwa moyo wako hapo kwa kibaki kumbukeni hayo ukweli wa Mungu on a light note to mheshimiwa kachagua when i went to attend the dinner in commemoration of visiting heads of state to discuss climate change issues in Kenya I went for dinner because I received an official invitation na wewe ndugu ni mtu wa kuongea kweli lakini uliambia watu wetu Kalonzo alikuwa anakunwa dhubu na wewe hapa anajienjoy anaweka kitambaa hapa eh sasa Eh, that was dinner for african heads of state and that issue was beyond kenya maybe ukasema naenda usiku sijui kama you expected me to go for dinner at lunch <laughs> light talk lakini ikiwa ni mambo ambayo na ramifications sasa hivi believe you me as i speak to you kuna wakenya wengi 
ambao they like what I'm saying. Na kuna wengine kama nyinyi hapa viongozi and I want to talk to the younger ones. Please do not be <laughs> psychophantic. The world is watching. The world is watching. Watching Kenya very closely. Ukisema ataenda kuvamia mashamba, let us make sure and I'm now going to say this and you have heard Mheshimiwa Wamalwa saying what action he took as minister responsible. Kumbukeni Kibaki was a president of the Republic of Kenya. Mzee mwenye imani kabisa who my desire to help for the sake of this country. So some kianza kusema you want to invade at a eh, risale ya rambirambi kisomwa 